Welcome to the Go Mining Academy. My name is Jeremy Dreyer. I'm the Chief Business Development Officer at Go Mining, and I've been involved in Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining since 2017. I hope you enjoyed these courses. Lesson six, is Bitcoin legal? In the previous lesson, we became aware of typical crypto scams and learned about ways to protect yourselves from these. Now let's tackle another crucial aspect of staying safe, the law. By the end of this lesson, you will understand why governments regulate Bitcoin, learn how Bitcoin is treated under different legal systems, gain step-by-step -step guidance on checking Bitcoin's legal status in your country, know what to do if laws change unexpectedly. Bitcoin continues to grow in adoption and attention, but one question remains surprisingly common and important. Can using Bitcoin actually get me into legal trouble? If that question makes you nervous, you're not alone. While Bitcoin is designed to operate outside the traditional financial system, you still live within one, and that system has rules. That question is a sophisticated one for multiple reasons. Governments around the world are still figuring out how to regulate Bitcoin. Some see it as a tool for innovation, others treat it with skepticism, caution, even hostility. In many places, the legal status of Bitcoin is somewhere in the middle, legal to own, but restricted in certain uses, or legal today, but uncertain tomorrow. For everyday users, this uncertainty can feel like a barrier. Is it safe for me to buy Bitcoin? But with the right approach, it is possible to navigate regulation with clarity and confidence. Let's dive in and rethink what legal means when your money doesn't belong to any one country. In the traditional financial world, money is government issued, bank controlled, and heavily regulated. Currency value is shaped by inflation rates and central bank policies. There's little confusion if it's in your bank account. It's legal. Bitcoin disrupted that paradigm. Now anyone with an internet connection can send or store value independently. That independence challenges long-held assumptions about who controls money and who enforces its rules. Governments have responded in widely different ways depending on economic priorities, political stability, technological openness, fear of losing monetary control. The result, a fragmented global map of Bitcoin regulation where borders matter again. The old belief that financial innovation moves faster than law still holds true, but now regulation is catching up. In this new paradigm, you have to check and understand the rules because with Bitcoin, legality is not universal, it's local. What's allowed in one country may be restricted or banned in another. The old assumption, if it's on the internet, it's allowed, no longer applies. Bitcoin gives more freedom, but that freedom comes with new responsibilities. Why is Bitcoin regulated? Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. It operates outside the control of any single government or bank. This design raises important questions for regulators. Can Bitcoin be used to evade taxes? Does it pose a threat to national currencies? Can it be used for illegal transactions? How should it be classified? Currency, property, or something else? Because of these concerns, governments have developed a special Bitcoin and overall crypto-related laws to prevent money laundering, so AML laws, protect consumers, ensure fair taxation, main control over capital flows. Regulation doesn't mean banning Bitcoin. In most cases, it means defining how it can be